if you guys want to mute yourselves. Can you remind me how to do that? Um, it's just in the bottom left corner, it should be, of your screen. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, I've lost you. Hang on, what have I done? Oh. <laughs> you should still be able to hear us. I can hear you, I just can't see you. What have I done? Oh. Is Kat shared her screen, so you I might shared my her screen. Screen. So can you see the screen? Hi, Karen. Oh. Okay. So tonight we're going to talk about ah, yes. sampling safely and effectively. Um, so thank you everybody for joining. And I'm just going to go through how we can share the oils safely, first of all, which is really important, and also effectively, so we're not using up tons and tons of your oil stock. Um, okay. So I wanted to just also share a few upcoming dates. So um, Tuesday the 3rd, which is next week, is going to be the last training before Christmas, just because everything's getting quite busy. We've got Christmas plays going on at school and all sorts of things to try and fit in the following week. So next week will be the last one, but I'm gonna give you guys plenty of sort of homework and resources to, to be looking at over the Christmas break. And then we'll restart again on Tuesday the 7th of January. And, there's actually an event on the 4th of January, which is being run by Emily and Tim, who are our lovely uplines, and they live in London. They've been doing the doTERRA business for about four or five years now, and they're a really lovely, generous couple. And they are putting on this really great event for us. Um, so if anyone would like to come along to that, it's in Hampton Hill, which is in Southwest London, on Saturday the 4th of Jan and it costs 15 pounds and i think they're going to have some refreshments there uh, from half 10 in the morning till eight at night so i'll be going up and i will probably get a ho well i'll definitely get a hotel nearby for the saturday night i expect so if anybody fancies joining that would be fun on sunday the 16th of february there is what's known as aroma touch training now aroma touch is a specific technique a massage technique which incorporates the oils um, through touch and once you've done the training which only takes one day and you also get a free set i think it's about five or six five mil oils with the training you're qualified to offer little treatments so um, i think some people charge between 30 and 40 pounds for the treatments the training costs 125 pounds so i'm going to do that and again if anybody would like to join me I'll be driving so you can jump in the car with me and it's £125 to do that training and then um, you'll be qualified for aroma touch technique which is brilliant and it just means if you ever sort of want to do fair or anything like that then you could offer people a free hand massage or there's lots of ways that you can incorporate it into your business. Um, some other dates which are to be confirmed, but every season doTERRA um, has some tours which go around the country and that's basically, um, they're amazing to go to, I highly recommend uh, visiting them and I've been to the last two or three and they normally have amazing speakers, so there's um, people talking about different elements of the business, they also launch new products, so there's product education. They have a room with lots of different tables where you can go around and learn about green cleaning or cooking with essential oils or how to make chocolates with essential oils. It's really, really great to go to. So they have got three dates there which might be relevant for us. I will probably go to the London one because it's a daytime and an evening event. So they have more business training at that. And there's also one in Bristol and Southampton, which are just evenings. So I'll probably go to the Southampton one as well. May even do a table or something there. So I may even get involved in a bit of presenting. So it'd be lovely if any of you guys would like to join me, not presenting if you don't want to, but um, to come along. And then the last thing was um, the 8th and 9th of May, we have got our European convention, which is in Rome. I've got a link actually to watch with you all if everybody is cool with that. Uh, just need to share that 
So this is the European Convention. They happen once a year. Can you all see that screen? Hopefully you can. Just drop me a yes in the chat, somebody. And it's in Rome and I've booked my ticket. So I thought I'd share this in case any of you want to come. I think when people realize that doTERRA can be an effective vehicle to accomplish their own dreams, there is this magic that happens. Over these past 10 years, we've really influenced literally millions of people's lives. We knew that our essential oils were pure. We believed that quality really does matter. When we opened up those oils, we knew that we were going to change the world. going to be really cool to go to I can't wait and they often have at least two three four sometimes more of the founders the original founders of doTERRA that come and speak at these incredible events um, and it's really it really is so inspiring and really emotional to get involved with that and just see how much good they're doing in the world how us buying the oils uh, benefits all of these other communities and um, and also just the product education that you get there is second to none. And they always launch their new products in, in the spring, sorry, in the, at the European tour. So whatever America had a year before, which was just, just released um, quite recently, and there's some really exciting products coming in that. Um, we will probably be getting them next May. And they'll be launched at, at the European convention. So that was, that's going to be lots of fun. So let me know if you fancy joining. Um, okay, so um, tonight we're going to talk about sharing the oils. So really just first of all, I wanted to say that for me, this was such um, a natural thing to do when I started enjoying the oils myself, that I couldn't help but share them because they helped me so much that I just had to sort of get them in other people's hands really. And as soon as one of my friends or family had something wrong with them then I'd come along with my little bag of oils at the time and offer them well at the time I was just offering them my my large bottles of oils because I didn't know how to sample and I didn't know what that even was or that it was even a thing so um gradually I learned and that's what I want to share with you guys tonight in terms of how we can share our oils effectively and safely but really that it's an instinctive thing and it comes really really naturally so it's not something that we need to sort of be pushy with okay so what do we need to know to be able to share the oils and offer samples to people so we need to know how to look up an ailment using our resources we need to know what an essential oil is we need to know what makes doTERRA oils different so that's the things like the CPTG um, testing that we talked about last week and hopefully some of you have done your homework on um, the three ways that we can use the oils and that's obviously um, topically aromatically and internally and the internal use is so specific to doTERRA and then we also suggest that the best ailments to sample are sort of minor ailments, so things that we're going to see some results in really quickly. So 
things like headaches or maybe um, sort of mild skin irritations or um, stomach upsets, that kind of thing, indigestion. Um, I've got another sheet, uh, another slide coming up of that later. Um, so because you're probably going to see some effects happening quite quickly from that. Okay, so there's a couple of references here, which you might want to take a screenshot of or a photograph. Things I would absolutely recommend is purchasing the Modern Essentials book. So that was in our training last week. Or there's another book called The Essentials Life, The Essential Life book. In the UK, we can get both of those in at essentialoilsuppliers.co.uk. And then there's also loads of resources on doTERRA on the doTERRA website. So there's a link there to doTERRA Everyday Training, and that's got loads of training and toolkits. I actually just open that up so I can show you all what I mean. Hopefully you can still see my screen. Um, so you've got, I would say in here, you've got all the product information pages. So if you go to that and then click English, it's going to pull up every single oil, every single product that doTERRA does. And you can go to, let's go to peppermint, for example. And just be aware that all of the language that's used on these sheets has to be compliant. So they're not going to be making radical claims about anything. It's quite a gentle explanation of what the oils can help with. Um, but those are really great reference points for you to just all have a bit of an explore over. And then there is also some training videos here. So I encourage you all to, to have a bit of an explore and, and watch some of these as well. So you've got all about the doTERRA, doTERRA difference, co-impact sourcing, and then a, a few sort of short videos on the 10 core oils there as well, which is great for some of the 10 core oils. So yeah, highly recommend that you get cracking with those. Okay, safety info. So we never ever put the oil in our eyes, in our ears or up our noses. If we have any sensitivity to it, we dilute with the carrier oil. So we all need to understand the safety information so that should somebody have an issue with the oil, we know what to advise them. It's very, very unlikely that that's going to happen because I'm going to teach you how to sample and share the oil safely. But um, should, that, should that happen, at least we know what to go to. Citrus oils are photosensitive. So this is something to take really seriously. If you apply citrus oil to your skin and then go in the sun, it's likely to cause, cause sunburn. So that's something you really need to advise anybody who's using the oils um, or you're sharing the oils with. So never apply citrus oils to your skin and then expose that area to the sun. You have to wait 12 hours afterwards. And the key thing really when you're introducing the oils to new people is for them to start small and to build up gradually because everybody reacts differently really great place for everybody to start is to apply to the bottom of their feet to the soles of their feet because that's such an unsensitive area for our bodies um, just act with care and follow guidelines and intuition listen to your body but also advise that they listen to their own bodies and really stress that the oils are powerful and that they need to be respected without scaring anybody off <laughs> okay so what do we need to sample so um, the main thing, well, these are all really important little tools. Last week we talked about having the Home Essentials Kit because you're going to then have something that you can go to for nearly every ailment. The other important thing to have is these little sample vials. So these are quarter dram, um, which I think is about one or two mil, one mil um, sample bottles. So some of you may have received these from me even in the past and they are really great little things to be able to drip a few, few drops of your oil in and um, you put a sticker on the top so you need to go, you're going to need some extra stickers as well and then we all write some instructions for, for people too. And then sometimes we will dilute the oils and sometimes not. I'm going to go into more detail on that in a moment. And then again, the Modern Essentials book is a really great reference for you to have either the book or the app. Um, so you can look up 
if somebody's coming to you saying that they suffer with a certain ailment, you can look up the most appropriate oils to, to um, refer them to and to sample them with. The other lovely thing to have are these little uh, Muslim or organza bags. So you can buy those really cheaply on Amazon or eBay. And then you can put your samples in there with your instruction sheet and it just makes a lovely little package for somebody. Okay, so what to sample? So these are some really simple sort of go-to things. And I think also when, when you're in conversation with people, then often it doesn't take very long, especially in the UK, to be chatting to somebody before they sort of open up and say, oh yeah, so-and-so's got a cold, or yeah, I didn't sleep very well last night, or um, yeah, somebody's got a headache, or you know, often there's things wrong with us, and we like to moan and share about that with other people. So there's the, the, often this sampling opportunity happens really, really easily. You can say to them, oh, well, you know, I've got these amazing essential oils that I've recently discovered, and they've been really beneficial for me for helping me with a headache or with sleep or you know whatever they've spoken about and you, you can just then really naturally sort of invite them to to take a sample from you or would you be interested in having a sample it's completely free and i think it really could help you and that's the key as well i think what i want to really always come back to is is this is about helping people and that's when we're being true to that we spoke a lot about this last week when we're being true to that, then people are really, really grateful for what we're offering to them. So there's some examples there. So peppermint for headaches and congestion. We all know how powerful that peppermint and wild orange experience is when we um, apply one drop of each of those and rub our hands together and do that lovely inhalation. Um, le lemon, lavender and peppermint. So those three oils are an amazing collection for antihistamine. So really good for sampling people who may have hay fever or um, any allergies. Probably less so at this time of year. But I have great success with that in the summer. Um, okay, then lavender. So lavender is great for any kind of insect bites, wasps, stings, sleep, any mild skin conditions, skin irritation. Okay, lavender and melaleuca great, make a great pairing for ear infection or earache. Again, I've used that really effectively at sampling when maybe some mums at school, their children have had an ear infection. And it's really horrible because there's not a great deal that can be done about it other than giving the child cowpaw. But that lavender and melaleuca is amazing and you just basically would, would dilute it and then rub it around all around the ear area. Um, never in the ear, but always just all around the ear area. Okay, so um, and then you've got Zengest. Sorry, I should, that's a bit of a typo there. That lavender and melaleuca shouldn't be written twice. So Zengest, which is a brilliant one to sample because any of you guys that have used Zengest know how quickly it works and how effective it is. I actually just took some tonight because I think I ate my supper a little bit too fast. Been rushing around a bit today working and um, was in a bit of a hurry to get everything sorted. So um, I've just had some Zengest and actually feel so much better already. So that's a brilliant one. Um, and again, if there's a sickness bug going around school, then maybe even just have some uh, little sample bottles already made up in your handbag that you can just pull out if people have, um, have sadly got sickness bugs or anything like that. But also for anybody with digestive issues or that suffers with bloating or IBS, you know, actually it works really, really effectively. Oregano, which we've always got to be a little bit aware of the fact that that's a hot oil. So we need to really offer a lot of advice with that one, but that can be super duper for warts, verrucas, molluscum, skin tags. So breathe, which is now called air, for any respiratory issues or sinusitis, any coughs, colds, just works really, really effectively. Melaleuca for skin conditions, dandruff, acne, and also for, for head lice as well, that's a good one deep blue for any kind of muscular pain and if you guys ever get to the point of running your own classes then that's a really good one to apply to people you know at the beginning of a class you say 
does anybody have any aches or pains anywhere and could I would you would you mind if I apply some of this deep blue oil and you always apply it in a carrier of course and then you ask them sort of partway through the class how their ache or pain is feeling and I would say 99% of the time it's gone um, and then deep blue and frankincense for migraines peppermint for headaches and then that combination is, is can be quite effective for helping with migraines so there's a few ideas there and I would say in the early days you just want to keep it quite simple the one that's not on here which I just realized is on guard so at this time of year if people have got throat infections um, or coughs and colds then that's quite a good one to introduce people to as well okay so how do we sample so in your little sample vial you need to put in between i would say between 8 to 12 drops really so it looks like it's got enough in it to not look stingy but equally this is not about you buying oils for all of your friends and families okay this is offering them a sample to see if it helps and it is offering them an experience and it's a really kind thing to offer actually and most people welcome it with open arms okay so you you put 10 to 12 drops in sometimes as little as eight but you want it to look like it's full enough okay i would also say that the majority of the time i offer the samples neat and i write out instructions really clear instructions about how to use it so it's about tapping the oil um, the other thing just to be aware of with the sample vials is sometimes they can be a bit tricky to get the oil out of so i haven't got any to hand but what you have to do is turn the bottle upside down and tap the bottom of the bottle and the oil will then drop out with the sample uh, vials three drops from a sample vial is the equivalent of one drop from your bigger bottles because it has a much smaller outlet so just bear that in mind when you're um, writing out any instructions or giving anybody advice on how to use the oils. Um, so label it. You might choose to dilute, but most of the time I give my samples out neat and then I will give them instructions on how they can dilute in their hand with some carrier oil. And that way it just means that the oil is going to be quite effective and it means that it's going to kind of give them probably more experiences or more chance to use it rather than if you diluted it but sometimes with lavender for sleep I might dilute that down a little bit um, but it's sort of a bit trial and error and you'll get to know your way with it so don't worry and don't feel nervous and I'm always here to to go through samples with people as well so um yeah, the purpose of a sample is to give them an experience so they want to learn more so it's not to give them a whole bottle of oil and 10 to 12 drops is well enough to do that let them know how to tap the bottle to get the drops out like i've just said and then send sample and safety instruction guidelines so i have uploaded some of these for you guys already into unit two on the facebook group i'm just going to do a bit of a recap on that facebook group at the end to check everybody is finding that okay and that you know where to find files and um, go through the units which hopefully you've all managed so just a reminder and a recap we did talk about this last week but doTERRA does not ever prevent treat or cure so we just need to be careful in terms of how we use our terminology so we always say that the oils can soothe and assist and help or aid rather than preventing, treating and curing. And that way you will always have the support of doTERRA behind you. Okay. So some suggestions of how you could get started with your sampling. And this is going to be a really good thing that you could do over Christmas as well. So people often get poorly over Christmas unfortunately because it's when we all stop and it's always been such a hectic time in the lead up to Christmas so I'd make sure you've got some on guard that you could make you know you can be giving out if and as and when and Zengest like Zengest is going to be a really key oil over Christmas when people are overindulging and just feeling bloated and uncomfortable um, so definitely have some of that to hand and again it comes naturally doesn't it because you've normally got your oils wherever you are if you go away i know i take pretty much all of my oils with me when i go away so if somebody has something wrong with them then they're there and i offer them um, an oil and the majority of the time it helps them which is great 
Okay, so this is, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see if I can move. Okay, so the first steps is, this is called um, the 50 list. And the 50 list is basically writing down a list of 50 people that you know, which might sound a little bit daunting or a little bit overwhelming. And that's fine. If it does, start with 20. Everybody must know 20 people from colleagues that you work with, to your family, to friends, to neighbours. But really think about the type of person that they are and if they are going to be the type of person that you would be happy to approach. And also that might be happy to receive some oils from you at some point. Don't worry, we're not going to sample 50 people straight away. But first steps first is to make a list because it's just going to be really useful to, to have that reference to go back to moving forward. OK, <clears throat> then go through your list and pull out 10 names of people that you think you've been in touch with recently or that you are in touch with maybe on a more regular basis. And then I would suggest you've probably already spoken to them about the oils or they probably already know that you use the oils. But then I would suggest just maybe trying to work the oils into a conversation in um, a natural way and offer them a sample somehow. So as I've already mentioned earlier on, most of the time people have something wrong with them or something wrong with a member of their family or one of their children. And actually they're really grateful that you've got something that might be able to help them and that you're being kind enough to, to give it to them for free. So um, most people are, are quite gracious in receiving samples. You get the odd person who's a bit funny and that's fine. Just move on from them. It doesn't matter and don't let it worry you or bother you. Okay, so it doesn't need to be a stressful process at all. And I don't want you to feel overwhelmed or stressed by writing a list of 50 people. Like I said, if 50 sounds too many, narrow it down to 20 and go from there. And then gradually over the next few weeks, especially when we've got our break, just start working through that list a little bit. And um, even if you sample five to 10 people over the Christmas period, that's five to 10 people that might come back to you to buy the oils, which is great. Okay. <clears throat> so I love this slide. Think, who can I help today? Um, are you open to natural medicine? I've been using essential oils to help with my hay fever and I think it could really help with your headaches. Would you like to try a sample? So, I mean, I'm not sure about that opener, are you open to natural medicine? I don't know that you necessarily even need to say that, but I think if you make a reference to the fact that you've been using essential oils to help with something that you've suffered with, like for me, it's been my anxiety and a lot of people know that and I'm quite open about talking about with, about that now and it's quite interesting because people have watched me over the last three three and a bit years now and they've watched me become probably more and more obsessed with um with essential oils but a lot of them have now uh, are now starting to think oh well she's still going on about the, these oils three and a bit years later maybe there's something in it and maybe I'll try maybe you know actually I'm sick of having these headaches maybe I'll see if there's something to help with those headaches and it is funny, the more you kind of um, talk about it and expose people, hopefully it doesn't ever get too irritating, um, to that, the more naturally people just are drawn to you and just end up coming to you when they are in a time of need. And so that's lovely to be able to help people when they're, when they're in that place. Okay, um, I remember when I first started sort of thinking about sampling people a bit more, not officially, but when I started to do the business last January and I felt like I should maybe get a bit more organised about how I was sampling. And I remember thinking, oh goodness, I feel really nervous about this. You know, what if somebody says no to me? What if somebody doesn't want me to give them a sample? Or, you know, it, how will that conversation go? But I would just say, try not to think that try not to think about nerves and try and put those aside and say that you've got no nerves and your uh, what you need to focus on is serving others and helping other people and then that way you're not focusing on the fact that you're nervous 
so you think about how much the oils may have helped you and how your life might be quite different if you didn't have the oils in your life and how nice it would be if somebody else can experience that and if you can be the person to introduce the oils to them how grateful they'll be and honestly that does happen to me time and time again and it's so wonderful and rewarding when you get customers who are coming to you and saying I love these oils you know I can't imagine my life without them okay so how to make sort of first contact with people to talk about sharing and often offering them a sample so remember you're doing them a favor okay you're being kind and you're being generous and if they um don't want to be reciprocal to that then that is absolutely fine there'll be plenty of people that do so um it's a kind heartfelt gesture don't ever feel embarrassed about that okay um never come across as desperate so we don't need to be salesy or pushy we can be really natural with this and if we come back to our key message which is about helping people then um and that's in our heart then that's what will come across okay and try and meet the individual needs so rather than just a blanket sample of lavender really sort of listen to what people are saying to you because then you will pick up so much information and that information is really invaluable in terms of what you can then offer as, a, as an aid and something to help them. Okay, so we're the messenger. The oils will sell themselves to the people that are ready to take that step into a more natural health for, the, for them and their family. Some people aren't ready and that's fine and some people will never be ready. Um, some people you'll have conversations with about the oils and they'll be a bit like, thank you but no thank you. And they might come back to you in a few weeks or a few months time and actually want to know more then. So sometimes it can be a bit of a slow burner, but if you're laying lots and lots of seeds and lots and lots of foundations, I promise you they will, well, some of them will come, will come back to you at some point. And that's definitely happened to me. And now I can say that I'm having like a huge spike in the business um i guess it's partly because of the time of year but it's also partly just because i've i've laid so many seeds over the last year and they're not all going to sprout at once some people are going to take longer but now i regularly get messages from people who came to a class you know sometimes it's even back as long as last march last february time oh cat um actually i've saved some money and i really want to buy that home essentials kit can you help me and so that's really key in kind of keeping relationship with people as well. So I always, always take people's contact details because if you don't have their contact details, how can you follow up with them? You can't, okay? So you never just give them your contact details and try and get organized with this, okay? So if you're good with technology, you might want to start recording names in a spreadsheet you can put in that spreadsheet, you can put their name, their email address if you have it, and ideally you do, their phone number. Some people, you know, some people may be giving with this information, some people may not. So don't sort of get too hung up if people are being a bit funny, but you do need one way of contacting them. And you can sort of say that it's from a health and safety point of view. Um, and then in your spreadsheet, you might also just write down, what sample you've given and what ailment it was for and when we've given samples so i before i sort of really understand understood how to do the business and that's why i really wanted to cover off this training with you all i was giving away my oils really willy-nilly and i kind of i thought oh i know how to do those samples you just buy those little tiny sample pots and then you share the oils and that's great but what i didn't think about and i did a lot of that I would give people a sample for this or for that you know I was quite generous with my sampling but I wasn't very effective because I didn't know how to follow up with it so once you've given a sample you really need to contact that person within a couple of days and just it can be really really casual but um, just drop them a message and say hey you know I hope you got the samples okay um, did you did you manage to try them yet? 
and open up that conversation because sometimes people will turn around and say no I haven't and they need that reminder to then open the bottles sometimes people are scared of opening the bottles as well so they just need that little bit of encouragement from us and guidance so be prepared to, to offer that and um, sometimes life's just got in the way and people are busy and then other times they've tried the sample but it hasn't worked and that's okay because we all have different dna and different oils are going to work differently for different people so if it hasn't worked then you can go back to them and you can say oh well i'm really sorry that peppermint you didn't find peppermint worked for your headaches let me send you some deep blue because i think that might be the one for you and you keep going until you find something that's going to be compatible with their body but the majority of time, I'd say sort of 90% of the time, people have opened the bottles and or with some encouragement, they open the bottles and they've used the samples and they're just like, wow, these smell incredible or, oh my goodness, I put it on once and my headache went away. So they're really, really, really grateful. OK, but the key is having their contact details so you can follow up. And then also, if you've got their contact details, when we get to the position of doing some classes, then you've got their contact details to invite them to a class. And the idea is, if you have sampled somebody and they've had a really positive experience and then they come to a class, then they are, are more than likely then going to invest in some oils at the class. OK, so. Why do we sample? Okay, number one for me is to help other people. So it's help, help other people understand that there are natural solutions for the way we are managing our health and well-being. Because I wish I knew about these years ago. I wish I knew about these oils when my children were babies. Um, because we were really heavily reliant on Calpol and for years I was so heavily reliant on ibuprofen and paracetamol. And if I'd have known about the oils and known how much they helped and could help, it, you know, my life would have been really different a, a few years ago. Okay, so once someone's had a successful sample, you invite them to a class. Now, at the moment, this might be a bit tricky and it also might feel quite daunting for you all. So I don't want you to feel like that at all. And when you are ready to maybe do a class, then I will come and help you do those classes, okay? Or I will do the classes for you. So don't feel overwhelmed. You focus on giving people positive experiences from the oils and I will help and support you do the rest. And I also thought that maybe something that I could offer for all of you as a group is some online classes. So if you are, um, if you are, sampling people over the Christmas period, then maybe early January I can do a class or maybe even in December if you've got any people that you think might like to listen to an online class. So with the online classes, what I like to do is send out four samples to people. So it's peppermint, wild orange, lemon and lavender. And I'm happy to help with that. And you send that out to people so that then during the class they can have that they can have that wow moment with the peppermint and wild orange experience. And then they drink lemon in their water during the class. And then as the class comes to an end, then I encourage people to use the lavender for before they're going to sleep. So that might be, I don't know, we can have a chat about that at the end, but I was thinking that that might be something quite useful for you all. Okay, so um, we sample also because we never know um well first of all it's to help people like i've said so many times but it's also we never know what those what what they what those people are going to turn into they may turn into be your best they might turn out to be your best customer or they might also turn out to want to do the business one day or to share the oils to lead with doTERRA themselves and you just don't know where things are going to go okay so your homework is to write your 50 list Spend some time looking at the doTERRA toolkit. Uh, read the sample docs that I've, I've uploaded to the Facebook group. So there's a couple of different ones in there. I have put in there um, a safety sheet that you need to print out and send with any samples that you, that you give to people. 
So that's just got all the health and safety tips on it. And also in there is um, a PDF which has got the sort of top 10 oils and it's already got instructions of how people can use them. So I thought that might be helpful for, for you guys whilst you're getting started. And then I just want you to continue listening to the podcasts. Hopefully you've been enjoying those this week because they're so inspiring and they're, they're super duper. Um, so I just might finish if you're all still there with just going onto that Facebook group. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I was just going to show you quickly how to navigate around this Facebook group, just in case people aren't sort of getting on that well with it. I don't know. So on the left hand side, I mean, this is our discussion. So this is where I'll post about training and please comment or please um, tell me if you can make it. Tell me if you can't make it. Tell me um, what's going on, you know, what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying. I want this to become a really active group and I want people, I want you guys to get to know each other and be a support for each other as well. OK. So yeah, there's gonna be like different things in the discussion, but then when I talk about your homework, we're looking over here in the left-hand side at units. So you need to click on units and it's going to be ordered by the weeks. So unit one was last week's homework. So you would click there, getting started. And in here, um, you go down, and you've got your homework there. So you've got the recorded webinar, you've got the source to you website, you've got the eBooks, you've got the podcasts. Okay. And these are going to stay there. So you can keep going back to them because those are going to continue to be good resources for you to, to go to. Unit two is this week's training. So in here we have got um that's the link to the doTERRA training and tools um sampling instructions so this is what i was saying so in here we're going to see you, you've got you can basically print these off on your computer and then cut them out so you've got lavender lemon peppermint um all of the 10 core oils basically. So hopefully you'll find that really helpful. I know I did when I first started sampling because it can be a bit overwhelming. And I don't, please don't feel overwhelmed by it and come to me if you are. Um, and then you've got a sort of safety instruction sheet there. And if you all want me to, I can send you this via email as a Word doc so you can change the contact details at the bottom to your own. So it's just a little bit of instruction again on how to use the oils and, and what to do and what to not do. Okay, so it's not too much in there this week, but there's plenty more that you can go back to in, in week one. And you've probably also found your own resources as well that you like to look at. Okay, so, right. I'm going to stop the recording.